The weather app on my phone has been notifying me that our first freeze of the season is on its way. So I thought it best to get outside and harvest the last of my summer carrots. All creatures, great and small, right? Please pardon the barking. My dogs are currently outside saying hello to their neighbors. And as before, this recipe is located in the description box. And now the combination of these two important pieces. I'll now bake these at 375 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. Dry in vitamin C, I'll now dry the carrot pops to place in soups and other tasty treats. I received these vintage uh, juice glasses a few years ago for Christmas. I believe it's a set of six. And I just think they are absolutely beautiful. Friends, it's always the little things.
My home country of Belize is a melting pot and therefore offered me the lineage of having a great grandfather who was Irish. So every year I look at the Christmas traditions of this heritage and to bring some of that into my own celebration and also to understand its history. I likewise reflect on the wonderful childhood Christmas celebrations as well. The warm climate, the salt air, the foods, and our own traditions. And this poem is so fitting as I reminisce now. The name of this poem is At Christmas Time. The tides flow out from the inner sea at Christmas time. They find their way to many shores with gifts of remembrance, thoughts of love. Though the world be weary and the days afraid, the heart renews its life and the mind takes hope. From the tides that flow from the inner sea at Christmas time. Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13 Until next time, have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon.